you call the board um, uh, of directors meeting of the Eugene School District 4J to order. It's Wednesday, February 16th, 2022 at 7.04 p.m. And we have all we have um, all board members present with six of us in the room. We have Martina, Gordon, Laurel, Maya, Mary, and Judy in the room, and we have Alicia present on Zoom. So we have a, um, a short meeting tonight, and we have really two agenda items to discuss. And the, it's, um, the, the first one is really to talk about the superintendent. So I'm switching the order a little bit because I just want to start by establishing uh, the question that we had at hand about pausing the superintendent search. It is my sense, after meeting with our subgroup, so I'm going to just put it out here that every all our board members would like to continue the search and not pause it. So I'm just going to look around the room and I would like to see if any board member wants to speak to, to talk about pausing it. Just to talk about something? Yeah, I mean, if there's any disagreement with that, can we just assume that we all want to move ahead and not pause the search? We're all in agreement about that. Right, but you're saying, but you're not asking for discussion, you're only asking for consent. Well, the next item will be about the recommendation from our search firm to do a train. So, would you like to have a discussion? Would you like to comment on not pausing the search for? Oh, thank you. However, did you know? <laughs> um, I would, I just think it's very, um, obviously we're in accord on this, which I didn't know, which is gratifying to hear, but I think it's important that um, in the climate, and I remember Mary mentioning this several times because you participated in several searches, as imperative to get going, keep going and do the work. And I think what I see happening on the board, I, I, the reason I wanted to talk is I, I don't agree that we're dysfunctional. I, we've passed a lot of things and done a lot of work this year. It's probably more work than the usual years from what I'm hearing. And so I, I found it, um, I found it, um, it, that's one way you can say, talk about something when things are changing. And, and yes, you have two new board members and things are changing a little bit, but I'm also excited about the changes and I have a lot of people and supporters who are super excited about the changes and that doesn't mean they're bad, it just means they're different. Sometimes change is hard. Thank you. Great. Okay, so you just opened up the that which is great about the, our next discussion, which is um, we, uh, our search firm, all the advisory group, um, and our week ago, last Wednesday, um, recommended to the board um, it, that they felt it would be really helpful and, and, and probably a really, really good step for us to have a, some kind of a training retreat to work on how we work together as a board. And they offered to do this training for us and recommended that we have two days to, to, you know, that we set aside two days to do this. And I just want to take a moment and we can discuss the merits of that um, it, or the not merits of it. And, uh, you know, we had talked earlier and there was a lot of agreement about doing mediation and training as a group. So it is, so, it is something we sort of identified as a board as, that we might benefit from. So I, I just want to remind us that this is this this was also our idea at some point and um so i'm going to just leave it at that and get some and i know everyone we were not all present at that meeting but i know the two members who were not at the meeting had a chance to listen to the recording so i appreciate that to talk if they wanted to to the consultants so uh, i'm just going to open it up to get people's thoughts about the doing the the um the two-day uh, training retreat on uh, uh, working together as a board uh, to make decisions going forward. Any thoughts, Gordon? Thanks. Um, I'm I'm willing to participate in anything like that if that's whatever people want to do. I'm 
um, a little skeptical about where it's going to get us only because I think that the things that we disagree about, you know, ultimately really are not personal things or personality or communication styles, but that, you know, we have within the board different visions of what we want to see happen in the school district, and that's okay. We're, we come from different places, and that we, you know, that that's really what's, certainly for me, that's really what's um, at stake here, and I don't, really, I don't think there's a way to erase that, and we just have to, like, the adults in color forward, and however it comes out, it comes out. And on, on kind of in that spirit, I did want to say, uh, this is a bit, you know, referring back to the last meeting, I said this to Super Superman Vandercar um, personally, but I want to say out loud and in public also that I have a lot of respect for Dr. Vandercar as a person, as an educator, as somebody who's given decades uh, of work to this district, and somebody who, as I've said, I think did an exemplary job steering the district through the first year of the pandemic. We have a disagreement here, and it's a serious disagreement. I haven't said, I haven't said anything tonight, I haven't said it in other meetings, but I agree with Alicia that we're all adults, we disagree on things, but we need to work on being able to disagree, even on serious things, even seriously disagree, while as much as possible taking the edge off of any, any personal side of the conversation. So I just want to say tonight that my disagreement with Superintendent Vandergaard on this issue does not cancel out my respect for her, and I hope we can all come through this which, with mutual respect as intact as possible. Any board members want to talk about the training retreat? Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Laura. Um, I, I I think it's it's true that organizations work better once they know each other. We only know each other pretty fundamentally. Um, the other part of that is that I do not um, feel almost qualified to hold a safe retreat. I, my reasoning for that is because as a bias um, training, that wasn't a safe space for me. Um, and I've been in places where that kind of work can happen and it can be safe and people can make sure that everybody has a chance to talk, but also that people are not being attacked as well. Because I do think having conversations does gets us closer to clarity and understanding of one another. I do not feel that just anyone can do this work. It is really hard work. And it's and there's very few people even in our own town that know how to do it well. Others have thoughts about this? Why? Um, I am not one who usually feels as though we need to make a decision with um, consensus, but I feel like this is one of those where we either need to all be in or else it's not going to work. Um, so I, I, I'm hearing Laurel and I respect what she's saying. Um, and, and it makes me wonder if, um, if a two day retreat is going to serve the the, if it will meet the intention by which we would be entering such a retreat. That's, that's what I would love to hear from my fellow board members is if, if two days of a retreat feels like it's, it's the path that will lead us to a place where we, where we function better, which is hopeful for many good reasons, but um, I, I um, I'm a little, I'm a little concerned that we will be asking our board members who are very strapped for time and who might have to make arrangements in their lives that will, um, that, that are unexpected and maybe not as, as, um, as planned as, as it, it's easier for some of us than others, and I recognize that. And I just, if it's not going to end up serving the purpose, will the sacrifice of the time that is not readily available be worth it. And that's hard for me to say because I'm somebody who believes that in order to be community, you have to build it first. And I think that we missed that, that part of our process way back when we became a new board together. So on that note, I'm wondering if there's something that we can do to build the community that we need to do without necessarily 
calling for two days of retreat. And I'm also wondering if um, if this decision might be easier made if we have a better idea of exactly what Alma has in mind. Without knowing what Alma has in mind, it makes it more difficult for for the decision to to feel like someone's entering a safe space. And I don't mean to speak for you, Laura, but it feels like that might be an important detail that we're missing now. Can I respond to that? Because I know I actually just before this meeting thought that question might come up. So I did try to get hold of them and I did find out. I, first of all, I completely agree. I don't know if uh, we all like consensus from the point of view that everyone's going to participate, but I, I believe what I was told. Uh, what, what I was told is that there would be a, a uh, check in with each person individually to get their expectations and sort of build the uh, the foundation of the agenda for the retreat, the first day, you know, and so it would be an individual phone call or Zoom, whatever. So that's where it would start. In terms of the content, I think it would be developed a little bit individually based on what those individual conversations came up with. So I don't have in depth to say because, uh, uh, but uh, but that was pretty consistent because, as you know, I have been interviewing other people. At the request of the board, it's taken a while, but I have probably talked to eight different people that could potentially do this, and they and, and none of them want to do it in public. They all start with individual interviews, and this this is a, a pathway. And I'll I'll I'm writing up all my notes about that. Can, can I follow up my question mm -hmm. since I know that we talked to them today now? Um, at our meeting yesterday in the subcommittee with Mary, yourself, and, and me. Um, we you, you brought up the question of whether um, this was a deal breaker for Alma, and I'm wondering if you asked that question. You did not ask that. I question. deliberately did not ask that question. First okay. of all, I just said <laughs> one had to be part. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I did not, and so I don't know what the response would be. Truly, so um, I feel like that would be something we have to ask them together directly, um, or not. I don't know. It's, this is our decision as a board and should not be done because we feel <laughs> we're going to lose, you know, lose them if we don't. So, you know what I mean? I didn't want to like that. So, thank you for asking that. But I deliberately did. Oh, uh, Alicia. Thanks, Judy. Um, thanks, Maya, for uh, calling out that it is a big sacrifice for some of us. Um, and I'm one of those people. Um, just because I had a trip planned, but I will be there if we as a board decide to, to do it. You know, I was, I don't know, I was a little skeptical. I actually talked to the folks from Alma, grilled up a little, um, and uh, um, I appreciated that, you know, there was, this probably isn't gonna change, but, oh, I hate when I can't remember people's names. Um, who did I talk to? Who's the Alma person? Monica. Monica. Monica, thank you. God, I wish I had that skill and I don't have a name remembering skill. But, you know, Monica talked about being in a place of hope and um, I thought that was interesting. Um, so a couple of things, I'll try to be more concise here. I want people to feel safe. I think sometimes facilitators make mistakes and we need to, um, I'm not saying they did or didn't, but I want people to feel safe. I know what it's like because my first thing to Judy was, if we do this, I need a completely accessible spot because I don't want to have to be, you know, dealing with running down the street to find the bathroom at McDonald's or something. So I need things to 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 work out. But also, you know, we just had an interaction in the previous meeting where Laurel called point of order and she challenged me on a word I used, and I was able to say, okay, well, if I use that word, you can't hear me anymore, and I think that if we as a board figure out a way to come together and maybe not agree on even how we get there or where we go, but on how we are together. Um, and that, you know, I think we've got to give it a shot. Um, and I just hope everybody feels like it will be productive because I think that's what's most important is that we can bring our, maybe not our whole selves because that is a big core, but at least our, open-minded selves to, to this work. Um, so I'd be curious what other uh, board members think. Um, I definitely was on the fence. 
a um, little bit of the meeting earlier made me kind of go, yeah, it might be a good idea to get to know each other and to get to know, you know, what's hard for people to hear and what are the words that kind of are triggers and things like that. So that's my two cents. Go ahead. No, no, I'm not. Oh, well, Gordon, go ahead. Thanks. Um, I, I just I have two questions. One is um, in terms of public meeting law, is, is all of this you know, publicly broadcast? Because that's obviously a certain kind of hindrance. Is the answer yes? That, that, can I, I don't know the answer that because I wasn't sure either, and because that's what it said. Everyone I talked to wanted to know about this. So and that's why someone asked me before the meeting if I knew this was going to be the agenda. All I knew was uh, I sat with our council and Monica to see if there was a way, and and it was and, and so uh, I thought she was just going to bring it up at the end of the meeting. So I didn't know it was going to be the meeting. But but what we um, if after the conversation, the takeaway was yes, there is a way. And we, we can't talk about, if we, we can do it on a personal level, it's about interaction skills and we can use fictitious kinds of these situations. We can't talk about anything that we're deliberating immediately on the board or that would come to the future. It's not, so uh, I think there was a, in the end, there was definitely an agreement that it could be done. So. Okay, all right. The, yeah. The, thank you. My, the, the one other thing is, I would be interested in seeing, um, and you said you said, so what is the plan? And I'm kind of interested in saying, like, what is the goal? And I know that if you could say, I think the general goal is to get along or something like that, but are there more, I guess for me, the more concrete we could be, if we could say, okay, we agreed that we're going to make decisions in this way, even if we're not talking about um, any specific issues that constitute board business and training. Great suggestion. Well, uh, I mean, a big problem on this board is um, equity concerns. And if we can't talk about stuff that we can talk about at the board meeting, I I don't see how it's going to work. Well, maybe we should get, I, you know, I'm really shooting in the dark. I was, at, I was there and there was some reassurance. So I don't know if just talking about equity and how we personally feel is, I, I think getting the agenda would probably be a really good ask. So I don't know how to answer that one. So, okay, thank you. I mean, that's a good question. Absolutely, when we get what we get, need out of it. Um, Anyone that hasn't spoken on anything they want to add or feelings about to Mary? I, I think we should do it. I think we should try. Uh, I would echo Gordon's questions like, what's the goal? Um, if uh, we can't talk about what's going on, I don't know how we can not talk about decisions we might be making. I kind of don't think the two are inseparable. And then it sounds like we don't have an agreement on who either yet. So it's, Okay, the, the, today the conversation is specifically about whether we would take them up on their offer, I believe. So, um, it's, it's not talk. about having one, it's about who. Well, um, I think they're intermixed because I know we couldn't get someone in short order. And I'm not sure, I just don't know how fast that can happen. So, let me just give you a little, she want me to give you a little bit about timelines and that. But my, do you have a comment or? I, I just, in terms of the who, um, if the intention of this is specific to the uh, process of hiring the superintendent, it seems that it would be maybe counterproductive to not do it with Alma, um, as they're the ones who we're directly working with on this particular decision. Um, whether or not that's appealing or not is a different question, but I, I don't think that, um, the conversations we've had about mediation or trainings in other contexts is the same as this very specific goal oriented retreat, which is focused on this very major decision. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to, for the sake of conversation, make a suggestion because we, you know, I, I think so. I think everyone has really good. 
points here, like to figure out what the goal of the retreat is, what the agenda, and most importantly, and when I, I think I agree with you, you gotta feel comfortable with the facilitator. So um, what I think might be a good thing since, since what she said, definitely her first step in the process is to talk individually. If people would, you know, if, if after we each talked individually, there was someone who would not feel safe in it, we don't do it. So I'm gonna just say that that would be an important thing because we can't go in that way, right? So I have that happen and get an agenda. Proceed as if we all agree this is a good idea, we are willing to try it. <laughs> Uh, and to your point, Molly, it's not good. It's like the first step, I think, and Laurel, you know, we never really got to know each other. You know, this might be a really first step because we do have some big decisions and and not that we're gonna always agree. It's not about agreeing, it's about how can we be less, maybe make make fewer, um, I don't wanna say mistakes, mistakes are our shoes, but just be able to, to have conversations more, trusting each other more, knowing each other more, and disagreeing in a, in a good way or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It might improve our ability to work and get even more done. So, go ahead, Gordon. Maybe, maybe it's already clear, but if we can get an agenda from them before we have the individual conversation, that would be good. And I will, I'll have my opinion, but if, we, if the rest of the board wants to do something, I'll also participate, except you know, with the caveat that you said, if there's anybody who feels comfortable with it, the process mm -hmm. wrong, then that's the answer. Well, go ahead. I don't, I don't think that getting the agenda ahead of the individual conversations um, makes sense for me personally, only because I imagine that the individual conversations would inform what the agenda slash goals would look like. And I'm wondering just, even if we don't take that next step of meeting together, having those, I, I really appreciated a month or two ago when we had that opportunity for the one-on-one -on -one conversations. So even if we don't take that next step, I think that we would get a lot out of having the opportunity to have an interaction directly with Alma folks. But I just, I think that, that if we get the agenda ahead of those conversations, we're not gonna have a well-informed agenda. Point. I don't know who was first there. Um, I would say I, from what our meeting, I really don't know how they plan to do any of this, and so some of my misgivings. So I would love to see something about their plans around how this works before. I mean, I'll say yes, I'll do this, but I would like that with the caveat that we will have a, a lot of information about what what the plan is because. If you are not well versed on this, you can't you can't just wing it. It has to be um, still a lot of people think they can. So I would love to see exactly what the, the plan is. How and not I know I did that can be just like an outline. I'd like to know what the plan is because she talked a little bit about about it, just that it's only about teaching the board how to work well together. And um, but no, there was no substance to that. So, I mean, I mean, yeah. So I don't see any reason why we couldn't do it simultaneously, you know, because it's a training. And, and you're right, it might get, she might say, and this would be tailored to what I hear from people, this part of the agenda, or how I approach it, but to ask what goals and what your process is, you know. So I, I think everyone has really good points on it, but we could probably get enough to at least have a better idea. Yeah, I, mean, I assume that they've done this before. And even if we just thought, okay, here's an agenda we did once before, because I understand what you're saying, Maya, right? They, they're going to need to do it based on what we say. And maybe you're a, a, a more advanced thinker than I am. And I thought, okay, but I need something in my hands to know, like, I want to look at it and say, well, don't be this part. And this looks like it works. And there's something missing here. So even if it's not a plan for mm -hmm. us, but something they've done elsewhere, that would be useful. To, be able to react to. to to your question, yes, this is something they do actually a lot of, 
And that's actually was a big part of their advisory group, even before they got to superintend researches. So they would have at least a sense of what it would be. So I think that's very bright. But, um, so related to this, but kind of coming from a side conversation based back to the decisions we made to continue our search. Um, and I know there's a meeting tomorrow that is you, Mary, and the Alma folks. I'm hoping that we can um, plan to have the information that was supposed to come to us last week's work session, um, maybe at the, next, at the next board meeting, so that we can continue the momentum of our superintendent search, because until we approve those qualifications and skills or whatever that list is called, then we can't we can't do the the um, executive session work that we'll need to do to make sure that we stay on, on schedule. So um, I just want to make sure that that conversation happens and that the plan is put in place to to get that information to us and also to, to honor the community that put so much time and energy into giving input. Because I think they're eager to to hear how their input one of the questions that they had in the eight sessions was how Will you, how would you like to know that your input was heard? And if we don't get to that conversation, that won't ever even be a possibility. Okay. That will be on the agenda. <laughs> um, so let me just give you, I, I, I've done a little light work because these things don't, they usually take a lot of lead time. So I just tried to get people's availability that either are working. I do know this has got to be on weekends. People are working. And then I also knew people already had sent in dates for travel, um, you know, to the calendar. And I also just wanted to get a sense of Alma's calendar. Again, I wasn't making any decisions. I was just getting information. So we did go in that direction. So there were two potential dates that were weekends in the near future without making it go way out. One, which is the reason for this conversation tonight, is that weekend of speak, the, like the weekend of the February 25th, it's the 6th, 25th, 6th, 7th, however we go in there. And this and that so that's coming right up. And every, everyone's available. We think we can find an accessible space that's going to. So the second weekend, which isn't interfering with known travel plans, but it's the first weekend of spring break. So it's March 18th, you know, 18th, 19th, 20th, and there. So those were the only two that were like someone wasn't going to be not present. So, Gordon. Sorry to be a downer. I'm going to be gone that week, that spring break weekend. You'll be gone those days yeah, that weekend before. I'm going to be gone those three days. But I haven't bought my plane tickets yet, so I'm in good shape. But <laughs> if, if this had been a week ago, I would have not been in good shape. Laura. Um, I would like to know, um, I guess you'll know this in the meeting tomorrow. Um, I don't want to wait until this before Alma to continue to do their, their all their steps. So I would like to know definitively what their plans are, um, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Because, you know, um, as I'm sure all of us, but especially people that work 60 hours a week, hold the weekends dear. So, yes, I can do February, but I want to make sure that it's not like, well, nothing's going to happen until then. I want things to be happening and this to be part of it. That's really fair. And I think even showing that we're getting a date schedule with I think, yeah, I can't speak for them. I don't know. Right. But I will definitely. Mary and I will communicate that tomorrow. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm also good with February, but cannot do the spring break dates, so I have not provided for the, the I haven't submitted those to Lisa yet. But. So we, we have one date that will work if we all are go. Uh, okay. Mary. Uh, I can kind of change my stuff around, but I'm wondering does all I have the capacity? interview all of us and put a plan together in a week. I, I which, is, these, which is what we're talking about. And do we have this the uh, space where we're thinking about I don't want to dump this all on our staff at the last minute. 
I've done some late work on this because I that, so uh, and Lisa and I have spoken that um and again it's got to be a fully accessible space. So we have about three or four options. What's on my point? I'm sorry. We we can get a space. My my question was about their capacity to interview seven people individually, prepare an agenda. You know, that's my question. I can't speak for that. Like, it's going to be hard to try to schedule. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think um, you're right. Um, I will will ask that question tomorrow and see if they can make that timeline. And I personally, those of us, I, I think it's especially important that anyone is iffy about working with them, that they should definitely be prioritized to have an interview before we get, you know, that, that's all I'm saying. But we also be able to be inter have an interview before we meet. So some of us might want to go sooner than others if we're not sure. Does that make sense? Well, for coaching, do they want to meet all the time? They do, but I think I think to your question, if, if I think they probably they definitely could say we're not. She told me that was her process. This was the date that worked for them. So I'm certain she has capacity to talk to everyone before the retreat. So I can answer that. Whether they can talk to each other, everyone next week. I can wait to talk to them and other, you know, I, so if someone, if that's part of when you're thinking about if this is going to work, they should go first for the conversations. Is that clear as mud? Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me if it doesn't. <laughs> I guess at the end of this conversation, I'd like you to recap what you think we've decided. Um, and then is it two full days, like nine to nine, nine to five? Six. Well, that was so. It, it's two full days, and we could do. But now, if some of us are signed up for the Freedom Dinner Friday night. We could we could either start Friday night and not do that, just do, and then do all day Saturday and half through Sunday, or we can just do all day Saturday and Sunday. I, I'm blanking. Okay. If, if we're talking preferences, I I strongly prefer to have. Friday nights, okay. okay. We have two people with a strong preference. Others? I don't want Friday night. I got a plan for Friday night. Then it would be Saturday and Sunday. Okay. That makes it easy. Okay, my week now. Sign up for snack. Right. <laughs> There'll be food, I promise. <laughs> Okay, so let me recap where I think we are. Everyone, oh, Alicia, go ahead. I was just going to recap, so I'll shut up and let you do that. Yeah, please, you recap. Well, I, I just had um, questions, actually. Well, okay, so what I'm hearing is that we are committed to that Friday and Saturday that we'll talk um, we'll have, we have the expectation that Alma will talk with all of us as they prepare their agenda. My question was, are we as a group committed to then doing this or are we giving an out? Are we saying that we can, uh, <coughs> opt out? if something doesn't feel right and any one of us can opt out. That's what I'm a little confused about. I kind of am hearing people saying, I'm committed, I'll work through it, but I'm not sure if I heard correctly. So that's those are my questions, Judy. And if you have an answer, great. Laurel has something, yeah. Well, part of my work being trauma informed and uh, the social worker is that anybody can always up, up, they don't feel like they're in a space that is um, true, true. But but what I heard was that everybody's opting in, and as far, from what we know right now, which we have a lot of questions, that everybody's opting to give up their weekend for four day full <laughs> So um, that's what I or. Um, yeah, I just think this is all this is pending everybody talking to Alma or somebody. Come, if, you know, if anyone, for me, if any one of us is around after I talk to Alma and I've seen the agenda, I don't feel comfortable doing this. But I, I, I think we have to be 
you have to either all feel comfortable or or it's not worth it. Um, okay, so then I would say we have a meeting in a week that we should know by next Wednesday if anyone's going to hop out because they will be traveling. <laughs> that seems only fair, but for the most part, we're proceeding with good faith that this is going to work out. Right? Martina. Um, that, that's, that's definitely the sense I'm getting, and I'm, I'm happy to move forward. And I think, Alicia, I appreciate your recap. The only thing is, um, you said Friday, Saturday, and I just want to be clear it's Saturday, Sunday that we talked about. Easy mistake to make, but I just wanted to say it out loud for the record. Laura? Laura? Um, I make a motion that we. Um, I'm not going to do it as well as you guys. <laughs> but I'm going to try. Um, that we we have a retreat with Alma, and that we will get information before this. Re we expect to receive information concerning this retreat before it happens from Alma. Um, I would also like to add, and if somebody wants to amend this, tell me that, but that. This is not something staff have to come to work on a weekend for. I, I find that disturbing. If I was a staff person, I, I, I don't think it's necessary and I don't want to create that. Thank you for clarifying. We can leave that out because no staff will be involved. This okay. so, yeah, so that was my yeah. super short um, motion. <laughs> Okay, so you want to repeat, repeat your motion or oh, you we don't, yeah, we don't vote during work session. This is this is a meeting. Oh, okay, all right, sorry. Um yeah, so I yeah, sure, verbatim. <laughs> um that I that we have a retreat, a weekend retreat on the twenty is it the twenty seventh and twenty twenty sixth and seventh. Twenty sixth and twenty seventh with Oma pending. Um, only that we are asking for additional information before that retreat. So, do we have a second? Martina second. So, Laurel has moved and Martina's second. Is there any further discussion? I just want to do a friendly amendment that it's barring anyone um, deciding that they are no longer by next Wednesday. Yes. Yes. That's if you accept my idea. Yeah, one okay with that friendly amendment. Yeah, I still wish I knew a little more like is it 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. noon to 6. I just you know like so I can plan the rest of my weekend. So some some sense of the time would be very helpful. Can we ask my we could ask tomorrow and make sure we email that out to the board because we'll be meeting with them. I don't feel like they can. Thank you. Any other discussion? Then let's call for the vote. All those in favor, raise your hand and say aye. Aye. And aye. The, the motion passes unanimously, 7 0. Okay. So, one last thing before we close the meeting. Oh, go ahead, Maya. Um, this is just a total aside. Somebody can say it's not appropriate, but if if travel arrangements allow and Monica is here, can we reserve a seat at the Freedom Table so we can at least send an invitation to her? Um, again, I don't know if it's a problem. Lisa said we have room, so the answer is yes. Awesome. Thank Great. you. Thank you. <laughs> Great. So the, well, the last thing before I close the meeting is, does anyone have any future agenda items that they want? To, the, um, to be put on the, an agenda uh, for future meetings at this point. Laura, I'm trying to find them. <laughs> um, if somebody has something ahead of me. Um, um, do I do them one at a time or do them all together? Sure. I think we should have a discussion about uh, to clarify for board policy about board calendar. Um, I I agree very clearly. It says it can only be changed with by the board with proper notice. And so I would like to make sure, maybe we need to um, just make sure that wording is very clear and how that happens. I don't know or you know. 
have a discussion on how that policy needs to read in order because it reads very clearly to me, but I, for some reason, people said it didn't mean that, which is disturbing. I'd also like, um, I, would ha I would like to have a discussion and it doesn't, well, I, I'll let leadership decide when this comes in, but the interim superintendent it, appointment policy work in the fact that um, I think there should be a clarification in our policy between interim and um, permanent superintendent appointment. Um, I do agree that we don't want to overstep in that work, but I would like to have um, a comp. I would like to have, again, clearer, be a clear in the policy about how that works. And I have heard in other, other districts, there is a difference in their, how they write up how, what interim and regular superintendents do. Um, I always want to make, as I say that, so I like it to be known. There is the reason you want to be careful in this, and this is some of my research I've done as this has come up, is that we don't want to be the board, you know, at like in Uber, where they, they, see what I'm trying to say. You don't want to impose so many rules that the superintendent can't do their job in a in a in a way, and you also don't want to be the the board that says our opinions matter more than the law that you're following. So that's that's not my intent behind that. My intent is there to be clarity and transparency, which means almost anybody who looks at it can understand it. And then I my last thing is a. Um, I, w I wonder if there could be a discussion about if we could have two co-chairs for the leadership because it seems like there's a lot of work happening and I don't know if this is something that can or cannot happen, but, um, and I'm not saying, hey, pick me, I'm saying that it'd be a good conversation for the board to have. If there's a lot of work in the year, can there be another part of leadership to kind of alleviate some of that work? At your list? That's not that great. Anything else? Then I want to just on your head nod. You have a head nod. Oh, well, I thought we were just talking about moving the vote. Okay, yes. We have head well, nods for every for. I heard them as agenda requests. Okay. So that's all. Can they go to leadership and we'll we'll circle back? Or do you want to get head nods? And Let's do, do, I well, well, it's actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, thank you. Well, the Robert's rules is actually a vote, and it doesn't have to be a majority vote. It is. It, um, I think our working agreements are three people want these on the agenda. They'll go to leadership to put on the agenda, or okay. we can deal with it. Well, that's a type of a vote. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, it's like it's sort of what you're saying. So, yeah. So, the, uh, the board calendar and clarifying, you know, when you can change meetings and how that works. Do we have other people who would like that on it? Yeah, then we have one, two, three. Okay. Um, the interim superintendent looking at a policy to see if we want to differentiate in the policy or call out specifically, naming if an interim superintendent has the same. Okay, so looking at that policy. So we have one, two, three. Okay. And um, the idea of co chairs versus chair and vice chair, are you looking at that as chair? Or vice no, I'm because I think that would be really confusing. Sorry, I thought it would be a chair and two co-chairs. Is it? I think we can't because there's three there's three board members, so we'd have to be having all the leadership meetings online. And what does it make a committee then, or basically we'd have to say it's a committee, wouldn't we? No, I think if there's three board members in there. Go ahead. It, it sounds like maybe this is something that we should explore. Put on, maybe, and maybe, I don't know how you feel about this, but maybe we could put it towards the end of the year as we're getting close to the time that we would be having a discussion about um, the coming year's chair and vice chair, just for timing purposes. Well, do you want to go for I was just thinking, my understanding is on the um, hiring, uh, sorry, the, the subcommittee that's dealing with all the uh, 
finger rotating, but it's like you and one other person in each meeting. So maybe there's a way to do if, if we decide well, we wanted to have co-chairs, maybe it's a it's a possibility. It's not it's not, not, it's not legally that's, impossible. Yeah, that's what I'm suggesting that maybe we we do have a full discussion because it, I, I think we're trying to have the discussion right now and maybe we could just put it on the agenda um, for the future. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm just gonna say well, leadership I, structure. And I, I don't I don't agree with the end of the year because it, the I think the issues are happening now. But it's a ton of work, so I would I hope it's on there soon. I, I was just suggesting, suggesting towards the end of the year because we have so many things upcoming, and, and I, you know, as we're getting closer to the time that we're going to start talking about next year's leadership, it might just be a, a natural um, thing to do, like a natural um, coalescing. So that's why I was making that suggestion. Um, if folks have strong feelings about it being earlier, we can look at the calendar. Um, but again, the calendar is really, really full. Cool. So that's, I just wanted to be like open about my suggestion about where it would be. So, um, do we have three people, first of all, that want to look at the leadership structure and consider your different leadership structures? Alicia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, Alicia. Um, I'm just going to say it it seems like there's a problem and we're giving an answer to it to increase leadership versus how do we help leadership now um, with their workload. Also just point out that if you do add a third person, that means no one gets to rotate into leadership. And I think that is helpful. So probably should have saved those for a later time, but I was thinking about them now. Thanks. So if we have three people who want it, we will take it and look at the, our work plan calendar and see when we can fit it in. So, okay. Okay. And the very last thing I just want you to see on your agenda, there uh, the next meetings that are scheduled, we have a regular board meeting on a week from today, the 23rd, and we have a training on March 7th, which has been sort of in the calendar with um, board roles and responses, equity governance. Who's that with? That is with Vince Adams and Lou, um, and that's, I got her name right here. Um, Lou, um, Lou White there. So it's equity governance, and it, it has to do with uh, roles and responsibilities, but in the context of equity governance, the governance, Vince Adams is an OSBA trainer, but he's also on the Corvallis School Board. And Lou White there is a member of the um, color caucus for OSBA in Envoy. So, and is that, did you say that's Monday, March 7th? That's, that's been in the oh, calendar. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I just have more details. Yeah. Is it 5 30? It's at 5 30. Thank you. I'm virtual. Yes. Can we have, um, again, an agenda of what that's about? Yes. And what that's going to be. In that, or do we already have it? I didn't see that. No, we don't have it. I, it's been in the agenda. I've been waiting to get finalized who's going to do the training. Now we will get the agenda out. This one just don't want to just trying to keep people in the loop that way. But it's been in the Friday memo on the schedule. I'm just telling you the presenters, and now we'll get the agenda. Oh, thank you, Laura. Yeah. Do we need to vote on adding what we talked about earlier as far as the equity lens and working on the policy? For, for the equity lens, or do you already we have a work session on that because we already talked about, and that's where we we'll talk about to that. Yeah, it's already in. Okay, yeah. Okay. So with that, I'm going to adjourn this uh, board meeting, so hope, and I'm going to say specifically, it's 7:52. Uh, let's come back promptly at eight o'clock for to start the executive sessions. So. I guess this is time that our guests leave and we get to use the restroom. <laughs>